guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Adam ND72. So we got the ML55 back in the garage. So on the last previous episodes, we lifted the truck with spacers, some shocks, coilovers, all that stuff, and I kind of showed you a how-to to do it. I've been driving around. The truck is awesome. So I was hearing a rattle, and I always kind of heard this in the back. I just assumed it was like the rear shock, so I figured if I replaced them, it would have been good. And then it was driving me crazy for a week, and then I just like... I was like, all right, it can't be the rear or anything. So look, let me show you what I found. And I kind of thought it was the rear because it's coming from that area. But it's completely not suspension related. I'll show you. So what I found was actually this. This is my exhaust. And if you could look right there, I think someone did this after market or whatever because this ML seems really effing quiet. It's not even welded around here. Like someone might have added this uh, resonator in. Ah, oh, the light. And it's shaking right there, and the actual strap is in pieces. So I think what I was hearing every time I went over something hard was just this, just shaking everywhere. So I knew a few people did, like, exhaust work on these cars, and I have, like, th I have quite a bit of these M113 motors, so I know they sound really good when you put an exhaust on it, or at least I think it does. I don't want this one to be, like... <laughs> How my death cart sounds, or my other cars, like how they're straight piped, and how they're pretty rad. This one I want to be a little bit quieter, and I have to do exhaust work anyways, because it's broken. And I always thought this was too quiet to be an AMG. So what I want to try out is, I'm most likely, right now this car looks like it has, it's got caps on it, it's got that muffler originator in the center, and it's got that huge muffler in the back. So that big muffler in the back stops you from being able to work on it's just in the way it's hard to get at things because of it so i'm most likely going to be where that weld was broken there i'm going to be cutting it right there and i'm debating i might or might not do this i got some parts coming in i need to make sure they all fit is i might be doing a side exhaust coming out right over here kind of like when you see on like the g series because i think that is so cool so most likely i'll mock it up i don't know if the tips i have right now because i really i really want like amg side cut tips but I just, it's the holidays, and it's a little bit harder to get things shipped, so I can always just redo the tips if I don't like how the setup I'm going to do, but I ordered some parts, we're going to hopefully, it all comes in at time, and I hope it sounds good, because no matter what, I got to fix this, and I'm a big firm believer of while you're in there, upgrade, because cutting out the, that muffler and all that stuff will drop a couple LBs, it'll probably lift my truck a little bit in the rear, because you got less uh, sprung weight on there, it should give me more performance, more of a growl. And I think it's just going to make it so much more of a fun, enjoyable car and pretty cool. And I might pick up a little bit of horsepower. I mean, I should because it would be less restriction. But I'm not really doing it for horsepower and stuff like that. And I think the side exhaust is just going to look cool. If I can make it work. I'm not so sure right now. Just because I don't want to cut a crap load of piping off. I kind of just want to keep it simple. Cut right there. Do a 90. Two tips. And a muffler. I ordered a muffler. So we're going to see how it sounds like with... No muffler there, and then the little muffler I ordered. The issue is, like, just the area it's in. you got to get pretty good measurements on mufflers. So we're going to start trying it out and see how it sounds. All right, step one was to get this center little muffler out. We got that all out over there. So I'm actually gonna fire it up and see what it sounds like with this. actually sounds pretty good that's even in a garage so what I basically did there it still has the factory piping catch and everything going all the way back to roughly like right here yeah that part of the car so that's bypassing the muffler that's in the rear which I'm assuming is factory and then this little muffler that I'm also assuming is factory it looks like there was exhaust work done to the car just from like me removing that it didn't even look like good exhaust work because as you saw that that little muffler that I just pulled out over there wasn't even welded in the back. It was just slid on. So I always had an exhaust leak that I just didn't know about. So no matter what, this is going to help out the car a lot. 
So this is the original little muffler that came out. Uh, it definitely had some uh, weld repairs done to it. Um, I'm pretty sure this is Mercedes. I mean, it doesn't actually have any Mercedes stamps on it, but if you look through it, it's kind of a straight through design. If you could actually see, like, it just goes right through. But man, it, it is pretty heavy. I'll weigh it. So what I bought was this, which is relatively shorter. It's got chambers, so it's not a straight through design. But the main reason I bought it is because I want it to be shorter and it's so much lighter. But... The big issue that I was going to be having is I wanted to come out on the side and you can't make it go too far back or you'll hit the tire and I wasn't trying to hack up even more of the exhaust because most of it's stainless and I just want to kind of be like a little bit lazy and it did sound pretty effing good with no muffler, no nothing. So I'm not going to completely go no muffler. What I decided to do, I'm going to show you. So right here is a factory Y that literally it slides right over the factory piping. It's stainless steel. Someone did already, like, <laughs> I cut off and I modified a lot, of, or not modified, but I cut away a lot of the old stuff already. So this is all uh, some other stuff, so I'm going to cut that away, but what I'm going to do is I got, so just like this, it sounded pretty gnarly. But I just think that looks a little bit rough, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to put another wide pipe there, which will dampen the sound a little bit, because it's going through chambers. And then I got the factory tips, I still got to pull out the other muffler and get that out of there. But I'm going to have the factory tips, and with this angle right now... It should come right to, it should be making the turn, and I might have to trim it and make it a little bit shorter, but I wanted the two pipes to be coming out like right here. And what I'm going to be using for the tips and everything right now, I'm going to actually, so this one came right off the, the factory muffler I have in the back, so I'm going to polish these up and try to use the factory AMG tips. I am going to have to cut this one and flip it, so it's going to be sitting, I'm definitely going to have to rearrange the lift. But just something like that, like right around in this area, because my biggest thing, if I make it too far back, you end up hitting that entire. So I want it like right over here, and I think it's going to look really cool. I'm going to be pretty, pretty happy with it. All right, we got the rear exhaust removed, so I got that little uh, resonator thing off that I showed you, and I got the rear muffler actually off. So this is 100% not factory, because as you can see, it's basically three inch piping, and it says. <gasps> Can you see it? Borla exhaust. So if anyone wants that muffler, hit me up. I'll try to sell it. Uh, shipping's probably going to be like, not really worth it, but if you're local, hit me up. It bolts right up to an ML55, ML430 exhaust, and it sounded a little bit better, but this new setup's going to sound a lot better. All right, so as you can see, we got it. And so basically, I kind of made my own little X pipe there, and then I kind of just went to a straight that came all the way out to the right. Bam. So I've been driving the truck around like this just to make sure I like it at all because I wanted to make sure before like anything crazy if I had to do if it hit or anything like that but oh it, it's looking pretty pretty clean. I just got to clean up the tips a little bit better but man it looks so much cooler like that with the truck. And I took it a little bit off-roading. It doesn't hit. It doesn't do nothing. It's pretty high up there still but man it looks so mean. We're going to fire it up and I'll show you the difference. So it sounds mean. Like, I like it so much because it's not too loud, but it's just give you enough of that oomph. And I don't know if it's just in the head. I definitely feel a performance increase out of it. Feels a lot more like responsive, but that literally could just be in my head or because we lost maybe 15 pounds out of all that mufflers. But like, and I just think it looks so cool, those side pipes like that. And uh, super, super happy with it. And it cost me literally to do that because I reused, if you couldn't tell, those are the factory tips that come out of the back. So that was free and I like it. I staggered it. I'm so effing happy. I think this is how the ML55s should have came from the factory. Should have had that little grunt that like a nice 5.4 liter V8 should have. So super happy with it. So far got no complaints. And that's super easy. All you have to do is just buy the Y pipe to do it. And then a couple 90s. It was super easy to do and very, 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 very happy of it. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you guys got any questions, just hit me up. Throw a comment down there, like. Make sure you guys throw a subscribe. That helps out. Share the video. Tell your friend. And uh, if you guys want to follow me, I got some stuff on Instagram at BuffyCLK500. And I'll talk to you guys later.